Hey everyone, it's Keyblader007, and I'm going to go over these tutorial quests that they just added. Learn the basics of battle. These are really easy, but they give you a nice rundown through everything. So I'm just going to show you it off. Equipping medals for beginners. Uh, Red Gummy Copter Level 5. Defeat target enemy within one turn. Collect all materials and complete without having to continue. And you get the different kind of mithril pieces, the gem, the stone, and the crystal, which is pretty cool. So it gives you a basic rundown, equipping metals. Go on upright, gold, um, reverse purple, go in the reverse purple slot. Equip a metal that matches the attribute of the slot to receive a bonus to damage, so green with green, blah blah blah, basic stuff. This is really easy, but I just want to go through it just for the sake of the few people that might not be bothered with it. Our objective is to collect all materials. Luckily it's a short little place, so we'll do that real quick. First quest is really easy. These are worth doing, and I'll show you why at the end. Here's a screenshot of your rewards. As I said, you get the Mithril Stone, but you get 10 of them. You get 5 Mithril Gems and 5 Mithril Crystals. And you also get 30 jewels. You get 30 jewels for each of these quests. So it's a free 150 jewels because there's 5 quests. This one's pretty cool. Skills for beginners. They actually give you free skills as objective rewards. So defeat the target enemy within one turn. Uh, collect 150 or more lux and complete what I have to continue. Possessor level 10. Skills. No skill trigger. Skill trigger, that means this little thing pops up. You can attach skills to metal. Skills can boost damage and strength, defense, and blah blah blah. More when triggered. Skills can inflict status ailments on enemies. Poison with that bubble. Disease or sleep. This lightning bolts or paralysis. Enemies take damage each turn. Enemies' turns are skipped until they, it's attacked, or enemy turns have a chance to skip. So this guy will preemptively strike you, but you know he's weak as shit, so who cares? Same with this guy. And this guy. Pretty much everybody does it. Alright, there's no one over here. So now you know. Don't even waste your time. Oh yeah, when it's this player turn now, you could just attack. Here's a screenshot of your rewards. You get the dirty jewels again, and the different Scrooge medals. Now, you can't tell what they are from here, but here's a screenshot of the silver one is poison, and the gold one is attack boost 2, and the other gold one is defense boost 2, which aren't bad, so that's pretty cool. They give you free defense boost and attack boost 2. And Poison's probably one of the more useful of the status skills, even though they're not as good. Okay, status effects for beginners. So now they want you to put your skills from the last one into work. Defeat target enemy within one turn, you get a Diz Metal. That's weird, right? Trigger the skill Poison, they just gave you that Poison. You get a Huey Dewey Louie, complete what have to continue. Nimble B, 15. So I made this stupid little build just full of Poison, Poison, Poison to make sure I get it. Status effects, none, and status effects active, meaning you see the little symbol appear on the 
you and the enemy. Certain metals will raise your strength or lower enemy defense and use their special attacks. Use these metals effectively to help you deal big damage. Okay, not one poison proc on that one. Nor on that one. Got it. As long as it happens once, that's all you need it to happen. We made it happen three times. Okay, here's a screenshot of your rewards. You see your Moogle, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and your Diz. They actually give you your own boost medal. And of course, here's 30 jewels. The next one is where it starts getting good. Oh, there's 6, not 5. So you actually get 30 times 6 is 180 jewels. That's not bad. Traits for beginners. So they give you a little intro into traits as well. Defeat the target enemy within one turn. You get a Donald B medal. Uh, 1500 or more damage with one hit excluding Nova, Donald B metal. We would have to continue, you get 10 SIDS. Do you actually get two sets of 10 SIDS? So that's actually pretty awesome. Large body level 20. Okay, so traits. Metals will receive a random trait when leveled up with the metals the exact same name and rarity. Rarity means the star level. Traits are constantly active and can give extra attacks, do extra damage to flying enemies, and more. I explained more about traits in my last video where I guilted metals from my poles. So check that out if you need more help with this. So they want us to just inflict a ton of damage. Okay, that did it. You need something with very little hits to actually pull this off. And yeah, that's it. Okay, here's the screenshot of the rewards. As I told you before, you get two sets of uh, SID 10s, or I call them 10 SIDs, and two Donald Bs. And of course, 30 jewels. Now, those Donald B medals, you get them for a reason. The reason is special attack bonuses for beginners. Defeat target enemy within one turn, you get some Donald B medals. To use two or more special attacks, you get some Donald B medals, and complete whatever to continue. Guess what? You get some Donald B medals. Poison Apple level 25. Yeah. <laughs> special attack bonuses. One out of two. Level up a medal using another medal with the exact same name and rarity to strengthen its special attack. So you could use it and itself, or a Mickey and Brooms or Fantasia Mickey B. Each time you strengthen a medal, a dot will be added, and... If you look on my last video with the pulls and traits, they actually have like a little notice that every time you combine it, it says something now. The Fantasia Mickey B metal is a valuable metal that can strengthen the special attack of any metal it's used on. And it's still rare as shit that they haven't given us more than the first two and none for anniversary. But that's besides the point. I'm not bitter. Special attack bonus is 2 out of 2. After story quest 34, so that's also cool. Um, they lowered the guilting story from 200 to 34 in both JP and Global. So now you just got to beat a simple early 34 quest, and now you can guilt medals, my friend. Strengthen a special attack six times to unlock its special attack bonus and greatly increase special attack damage. The bonus value will be randomized. Again, you could use it or it and the Mickey and Brooms, which is Fantasia Mickey B, but I'm just going to call it Mickey and Brooms. And you have to have all the dots full. I made a video about guilting on my tips and tricks series, so check that out if you're curious. So 
So we have to do two more special attacks. That's easy enough. Here's one. And here's two already. Allergies. <laughs> and that's it. We're done. Like I said, these are really easy quests, but I covered them just because I feel like it's important for people that are new to the game. A lot has changed in this little bit. And this gives you a good update. It gives you a good start off. There's a screenshot of your rewards. Yeah, so you got seven, meaning now you can guilt a medal. And they pretty much just give it to you. And if you never guilted a medal before, guess what? You just unlocked your first Nova. Which brings us to Nova Attack for Beginners. Defeat the target enemy within one turn. Trigger the skill attack boost two. Complete whatever to continue. Dual Blade, a new enemy, level 30. And as you see, we get beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mirrors. And you get about five of these bad boys. One objective is worth one, and the other ones are worth two each. That's pretty awesome. Five free mirrors. I'm never going to complain about that. Okay, so I have this little build with the Starlight, because I have attack boost two here. And I have attack boost two here. The other ones are for something else. Nova Attacks. Nova is a type of attack that can be used only once per quest. You see me use this all the time in my uh, walkthrough videos. Unlock the special attack bonus of a metal to access this ability. Nova Attacks will do more damage as you increase your Nova level. Your Nova level will rise each time you first unlock the special attack bonus for a metal, and will increase even more each time you first reach the maximum special attack bonus of a metal. So on average it's usually one for unlocking it and five for maxing it out. There's a few metals, the Waff metals specifically, that have been two for unlocking and f uh, ten for maxing out. And I think some more metals that are coming out soon will have that too, so stay tuned. So we get a s trigger a skill here. Problem is this guy is so flippin' weak. But we got it. Now I die. I kill him, I mean. And here's your screenshot of your mirrors they promised you, and 30 more jewels. And that wraps up the tutorial quest. They didn't even make a notice about this, so it was kind of surprising. So, yeah, you get a bunch of free stuff. So, even if you a veteran, you know, you could use those SIDs and those mirrors. Screw it, right? Alright guys, I have other videos to film. Lots of stuff to do with the new update. Peace out for now.